This has been the biggest trial of my life. Patricia Bowman says she hasn't received rent from her tenant in nearly a year. I saw my savings dwindle down, you know, month by month by month. Small independent investors like Bowman own about 16.5 million single family rental properties in the U.S. And a rough estimate from HUD suggests some 1.3 million of those mom and pop owners are now struggling to pay their mortgages due to missed rental payments. With the CDC moratorium on evictions during the pandemic, Bowman was stuck, unable to evict the tenant, but she finally got a court hearing in early February. Ms. Bowman, judgment is in your favor for $7,650 plus court costs. A judge in DeKalb County, Georgia, did order the tenant out in seven days with one catch. After the writ has been filed, will the marshals still come out to actually do the eviction? They will once the moratorium has been lifted by the CDC. Biden's American Rescue Plan, now passed by the House, would extend the moratorium until the end of September. Her tenant hasn't left since the judge ordered him out, and this means he could stay in her house for another six months, even if he continues to not pay rent. It's been like a perfect storm of events that have, that have happened, you know, and where I feel like now that, um, you know, I am in jeopardy of losing my own residence. Bowman says her banks allowed her to put this house and her own home in forbearance. That means her mortgage payments may be on pause, but she'll still owe the money later. She could apply for rental assistance herself now that landlords are able to directly submit for the aid approved by Congress in December. But they still need the tenant to sign off. I don't to pay for the rent. I don't I, I don't understand that. Tina Brown says her tenant hasn't been paying rent, all while Brown lost her own job during the pandemic, temporarily moved in with her mother, then finally moved into the basement of her rental property right beneath her non-paying tenant. Being strapped financially, um, dealing with COVID, dealing with not knowing where you're going to live, and then also dealing with the possibility of losing your property, it's terrifying. But more help is likely on the way with the stimulus package passed by the House. If you're a landlord and you're at the point where you're extremely frustrated, which you have 